welcome back to my channel just want to give a quick shout out thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video so today we're doing a really simple and cute nail design honestly one of my favorites um, we're going to be using my extra short square nails in this video i've been getting a lot of comments on when these nails will restock and they should be restocking by may 10th or earlier so we're looking at the middle of may but don't worry um if you favorite my etsy shop it will send you an email um once they're restocked so definitely go and do that but they'll be back in stock very soon my inventory just got um delayed unfortunately so yeah i'm just going in and sizing out these full nail covers these are soft gel full nail covers to my nails and making sure that they fit wall to wall for poly gel today, we're going to be using my absolute favorite. This is the Model One's Light Apricot Poly Gel. This is honestly the perfect nude color for me, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I this is linked down below in the description, and it is also in my Amazon storefront. That's where I purchased this from. I got a you know a free sample of you know all their stuff before, but I purchased this like on my own because I love this poly gel color that much. Definitely give it a try if you're around my shade, even if you're not, it's just the perfect nude color and I definitely recommend it. Sorry, I had the windows open out there, so hopefully the sound sounds a little bit better, but yeah, all I'm doing is the basic method I always do, applying it to my full nail covers and then putting it on my nails. Um, you just want to make sure that you make the cuticle areas thinner than the rest of the nails because once you apply it if it oozes out around the cuticles um, it's okay it's fine you just want to make sure you clean it up before curing because it'll be hard to remove but yeah as you can see i'm just going underneath of my nails as well and making sure that the underside of my nails is completely flat as well before curing So I get a lot of questions on how long I care. I do a quick little flash care. I would say like 15 seconds and then I move on to the next nail. And honestly, sometimes I do multiple nails at once. So I'll just do the poly gel and then I'll apply four nails and then I will then go in and care. So it just helps eliminate the time that your hand is in and out of that lamp. So I definitely recommend that as well. Um, but yeah super easy super fast and i'm just gonna sit back and let you guys watch me apply the rest of these full nut covers
Also want to mention that I do do my thumb separately on its own because you want to make sure that your thumb is fully curing so you have to give it its own individual attention because it's on an angle so. <laughs> All right, I'm going in with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol, and I'm wiping my nails down before we begin filing. For my file, I'm using an 80-80 grit file off of Amazon. This is linked in my Amazon storefront as well. I love 80-80 grit nail files. They're the best. They're all I use now. They just make filing so much easier, but there's not too much filing when using these soft gel full nail covers. It's really just focusing on the top of the nail. Um, but that's the beauty of soft gel full nail covers. They are um, already pre-shaped, so it does all the shaping for you. I don't know about you guys, but shaping is not my forte, so it makes life so much easier. All right, so we're gonna be using this nail file that I actually purchased, um, no, sorry. A company sent this to me from Amazon and I will make sure that everything is linked below. Honestly, this is probably one of the cutest e-files. I It actually is the cutest e-file I have. I love the cotton candy ombre colors, like it's so adorable. It has a little clip here in the back um, and then it also has this little teddy bear cradle that has some drill bits storage space. It's honestly perfect. Like it's the perfect travel um, e-file and it's rechargeable as well. So it comes with a little manual. So we're actually gonna be using that in today's video because unfortunately um, my Melody Susie file on my um, nail lamp is like stop working. So I'm gonna reach out to Melody Susie and see what they say. I'll keep you guys updated because this honestly was my favorite product so i mean perfect timing for the little uh sponsor right <laughs> the file was great though it's perfect if you if you're a traveling nail tech or if you just like to you're going on an extended vacation and you have to do your nails it's perfect it's very compact so i definitely 10 out of 10 recommend it i'm going in with a cuticle bit and i'm just cleaning up my cuticles before we begin the design So this is the nail glue I use, but we're actually, I'm going to show you it again in a later clip because first we're going to go in and um, prime and then top off our nails. So here's the top coat I'll be using, the Model 1s, which is my absolute favorite. But first I'm going to go in and dehydrate my nails with some more alcohol. And then I'm going to go in with some, um, you can go in with dehydrator or you can go in with some Young Nails Protein Bond like I did. Um, and this is the tip that I was referring to in the past. I, you know, I was telling you guys how I use primer to melt the cuticles, and this is exactly what it is. I use some Young Nails Protein Bond, and all you can see, all I'm doing is going in, and I'm doing is going in with the Protein Bond, and it honestly just really helps and melts that cuticle. As you can see, it makes it look super natural, like they're acrylics press on. So. I mean, like they're acrylics and not, you know, like press-ons or anything. So definitely give it a try. It's super quick and easy. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go in now and top off my nails. Like I said, I always give my thumb its own separate love. And then I'm going to finish off the rest of my uh, fingers. So back to this point, I think they call it point drill gel. 
Um, so this is a rhinestone gel that has a very needle point um, applicator. I needed this for my designs or for my jewelry and my like nail arts that have that needs like a little dot because the Beatles rhinestone adhesive is amazing. Literally love it, obsessed with it, but I just needed something that was a little bit more accurate. So I purchased this one off of Amazon and it's amazing. Absolutely love it. It's very strong, has a nice hold. I'm using these um, silver nail rhinestones that I also purchased off of Amazon. I'm going to make sure to individually link everything down below because I realize you guys like more individual links than going to my storefront and like having to find it. But I'm just going to have both there in case you just, you know, want to go check out my storefront as well. So I'll definitely make sure to have it linked. But this is great. Like it just made life so much more easier for me. All I did was dot it on, dot my three nails on, cured it and continued. So this is a really simple and easy nail design. I really liked it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sit back and let you guys watch me apply my bling. Also, this nail art um, rubber tip brush, you can purchase these off of Amazon as well. Uh, you can find these anywhere. All right, so now that the design is all finished, we're gonna go in with our last and final step, which is my favorite. I'm gonna be applying cuticle oil. Um, I am coming out with a new cuticle oil, so stay tuned for that. But as I say in every video, it does not matter how cute your nails are. If your cuticles are dry, nails are not gonna be cute, girl. So you wanna make sure that keep your cuticles hydrated. <laughs> But here's the final look obsessed love it so much if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe check out my description everything is linked down below i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye